In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this double exposure using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up, guys? Drool here, and welcome to another video by Tutorials Junction. And as you can see, this is the final output, and this is the original picture. So to create this effect, first of all, let's go to File and open the picture that we want. So I'm gonna go and get my image, open it. Okay, now let's go and make this background into a layer. So right click and layer from background, hit OK. Also, let's add the branch image. So file, place, and I'm gonna select this image and place the one. Now let's go and adjust the image in a way we want for the effect. So I want that the face comes from it and it uh, uh, the branches will blend with the background and the face will be here. So let's put it something like that and make it big. Okay, then let's go and confirm it. Now this image will go under the model here and this is our model. So now when I go and change this blending mode to lighten, now you can see here that image is not visible properly. So to fix that, uh, what we're gonna do is first of all, let's go and change this blending mode to normal. We're gonna cut out this portion of the background so facial features are visible properly. So for that I'm gonna use my pen tool but you can try quick selection but it's gonna be pretty difficult on this image so I prefer using pen tool. So my work path is ready and now I'm gonna press Ctrl Enter to turn it into a selection. Now we need to apply layer mask on this selection. So I'm gonna go and click on my layer mask, but it's exactly opposite of what we need. Let me hide this so you can see. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna click on my layer mask and press Ctrl I. So now only that area is gone. And now let's also add a white background. So I'm gonna create a new blank layer and put it under everything. Get my paint bucket tool, right click paint bucket and then I'm gonna go and get a white color and fill it. Now let's go and turn on this branch layer so we can see what's going on. Now I'm gonna activate my model layer and I'm gonna change its blending mode to lighten. So as you can see it's the same situation again but this time what we can do is we can apply the same layer mask on the branches. Now I'm gonna hold my alt key and option key if you are using apple products. So I'm gonna hold my alt key and I'm gonna drag this mask right on top of my branch layer and drop it here. So as you can see the same layer mask is applied here. Now if I go and uh, change blending mode of this layer to lighten, uh, it's visible properly. I'm in structure of the face. Okay, so that's done. Now let's add some details. So for that, uh, make sure your model layer is active, then press Ctrl J to make a copy of this thing. And this, uh, let's name it details. And this layer, we're gonna change its blending mode to normal. So everything is visible for right now. Now we're gonna go and remove all of this area so branch beneath are visible. For that, go and activate layer mask of your detail layer. It's important, activate the mask. Uh, get your brush tool and in the color, it should be black since we wanna erase it. And make your brush pretty big, use your bracket keys. Right click and make sure hardness is 0%. Then go and start erasing it something like this. Now here it looks fine but I removed uh, this portion accidentally and I need to bring it back. So what can I do? Uh, we have selection of this thing on this layer mask completely. So I'm gonna hold my control key and click here on this layer mask. So we have selection of the model. Uh, now go back to the layer mask of detail layer where you wanna bring it back. And now you can paint with white color to bring it back, something like this, you know? And now to get rid of the selection, you can go to select and deselect. Okay, now we need to get rid of the sky in this branch layer so it blends properly with the background. For that, activate your branch layer and hide all of this uh, and also the background. Only this layer should be visible. And also make sure that your image is active and not the layer mask. So select this, uh, after that go to select uh, and go to color range. In the color range, go and click on this sky here. So it will automatically make selection for you. And in the fuzziness, uh, uh, somewhere more than like 150 should be fine uh, for this image only, okay? Uh, so that's looking nice, then go and hit okay. After that, go and turn on your background and also turn on both of this layer. And activate the layer mask of your branch layer here get a brush tool and since we want to remove the details i'm gonna go and change to black color and then you can go and erase it 
Now when you are erasing it, try not to erase it from this portion, otherwise it will make the lighting effect pretty dull. So be careful when you erase here. So I'm gonna go and remove it a little bit from here. Okay, now I'm gonna go to select and deselect. Okay, so the effect is looking pretty good. And now we can uh, crop the image to frame it a little bit better. So I'm gonna get a crop tool. Okay, so that looks better. And now we can do some color correction and for that, I'm gonna go to my adjustment layer and get a curves adjustment layer. Now this is my personal preference that I like to do in my all double exposure effects. You can try something different on your own. So what I like to do is go to my levels and add a little bit of contrast and then go to my blue channel and add a little bit of blue and after that add a little bit of yellow to balance things out. So this gives it a quick color grading which works really nice with double exposures especially if they are in colors. So that's it for this video and I really hope that you guys liked it. If you want to check out more double exposure tutorials by me, you can click the box on the right. It will take you to my entire playlist of double exposure videos. And if you want to check out something different on Photoshop by me, you can click the box on the left. Plus you can also subscribe to my channel. So every time I upload a new video, you will get the updates. Plus clicking on that subscribe button will take you to my YouTube channel where I have tons of Photoshop tutorials only for you. So till then, goodbye. Take care and have some fun with Photoshop.